Hey everybody, I've had a few people ask me if it's possible to use main stage patches inside of GarageBand, and the answer is yes, for the most part, with some limitations that we'll go over here in just a bit. So first thing we want to do is go to main stage and find the patch or create the patch that we would like to use. And so here I've created a patch with a channel strip from one of Abel Mendoza's collections, and it sounds like... Okay, and so there's that ARP. What I need to do is save it, save as a patch. And we're just gonna call it test patch. And where you need to save it is in your user folder so that GarageBand knows how to find it. And that's found in your user music, audio music apps, patches, and then put it in instrument. Okay, so I'm just gonna export it, name it to test patch. Very good, so we're gonna move on to GarageBand. And in GarageBand, if you don't have one already, you need a software instrument channel. So we'll just create a new one. Defaults to this electric piano. We wanna to go to user patches. That's gonna show up in your menu over here. Oh, and here's some patches that I've exported previously. And here's test patch. Let me bring it up. All right, so there's Abel's patch inside of GarageBand. So earlier I mentioned some limitations. And real quick, I created some patches with different combinations. So here's a couple I created using Contact, so third-party instrument, and here's one with Omnisphere. I created a patch here with two layers, so two in channel strips inside the patch. And then here's one where I made a keyboard split at G4. I wanted to see what all would carry over. So interestingly, contact did carry over. So this is the giant. So I'm able to play that inside of main state or inside of GarageBand. Um, Omnisphere did not carry over, unfortunately. So I'm not sure what the rules are on what works inside of GarageBand and what doesn't, but just be aware that some will work and some won't. Also, the, the splits and the layers, ones with two layers, three layers, it didn't matter. Only one layer would come over, and it was always the first channel strip in the layer. So if I had two next to each other, it would only be this one. If I had another instrument over here, it wouldn't come over in the patch. Uh, so my recommendation with that is if you need multiple uh, layers if you want if you had like three layers in your patch just create three different patches each with one layer and then you can put those in as separate instruments in GarageBand um, same thing with the splits splits did not carry over only the first channel strip in the in the layering came over all right I think that's pretty much it for now if you guys have any questions please feel free to contact me also if you are a GarageBand user use it more than I do and have some ways to do some of the things that I couldn't in this video, please let me know so I can update the material. I, um, I tend to use Logic for my recording so I don't get to go into GarageBand very much. But thank you all for watching and hope you have a great day.